Another New Mexico school district, the biggest one yet, is opting for an extended school year. Not everyone is on board. News 13's George Gonzalez is here to explain. Las Cruces Public Schools says they are still feeling the impact of the pandemic, which includes teacher burnout and stress from remote learning. Now the district hopes adding an extra 10 days to the school year will help. This is uh, the best opportunity for our students to provide some uh, extremely innovative ways to, um, to improve learning in the classroom. The funding um, is a work in progress of how that's going to be allocated for resources in the classroom, how we're going to use it for field trip opportunities and experiential learning outside of the classroom. According to the state public education department, 16 school districts in the state have already implemented extended learning this year. Now Las Cruces Public Schools will add 10 days in a more year round version with kids starting the school year on July 20th and ending on June 1st or 2nd. Now they would then have longer winter and spring breaks, but only six weeks for summer break. But there is some pushback with some parents saying they wish more planning had been done before the change. This has far more to do with us as parents wanting to hold the district accountable to the time that they already have our children. What our district needs is to be more stringent with attendance, to get these kids in the classroom so that they're having these meaningful, meaningful engagements every day. The majority of Albuquerque public school parents have opposed extended learning. Right now in APS, it's done on an individual school basis with 20 elementary schools opting in. The PED says seven charter schools throughout the state have also implemented the change. Back to you. Okay, thanks, George. Now, state funding allows for $500 for student per student for extended learning. It's about $13 million overall.